and welcome to another booktube video from me lauren from lauren and the books how are you i'm okay today we are talking about some prize winning prize nominated books as you may well know i've been very much in support of um books in my bag over the years we've done i've worked with them many times um including running um Cozy Reading Nights for Independent Bookshop Week and um, sort of championing them um, and also debuting their lovely uh, tote bags every year. Um, but they got in touch with me this year and asked if I would be interested in working with them um, to promote the Books in My Bag Readers Award. So the shortlist is out today. It came out at nine o'clock this morning um, and they've asked me if I would like to get involved with um, speaking to you guys about the Breakthrough Author Award. Now there are four books on the shortlist. They've sent me them and I've read three of them and three of them, the three that I've read have all been absolute bangers. So the only one I haven't read, I've also heard good things about. So I'm gonna share with you the books that have been shortlisted for the Breakthrough Author Award in the Books in My Bag Readers Award. But there's also a little giveaway here, guys, because every year Books in My Bag work with a different, um, a different uh, designer, a different illustrator, and create one of these amazing Books in My Bag tote bags. They're very, very good tote bags, guys. They've sort of got this panel in that means you can fit even more books in it. And this year, Books Are My Bag. And this is this amazing peacock on this side as well. So there is the opportunity because they were very kind to send me one and also one to give away on my channel um so what i'm going to want you to do is once you've heard me talking about the books that i have uh, that are on the breakthrough author shortlist if you let me know down below which of your book which of these books uh, you think should win or you think sounds best if you haven't read any of them or um then then mention it down below what book you think should win or what book you would like to win and i will consider that to be your entry to the giveaway for the bag um, it's open internationally i'm prepared to post it to wherever you may well live in the world um, and i'll just select randomly um and yeah somebody will win this which is very exciting but onto the book so as i said the uh, the, the the shortlist came out this morning at nine o'clock so there's a whole host of um shortlists over there so go and have a little look i'll leave the link down below and you can vote using the um the the link that I will leave down below. I'm going to go and vote after this video. Um, and then Bookshop Day is on Saturday, uh, the 14th of October, um, where we're gonna go out and go shopping in some independent bookshops and have some lovely times with that. And then the Readers Awards, um, the voting for the Readers Awards closes on the 29th of October. And then on the 7th of November, the Books My Bag Readers Award winners are announced. But we're gonna find out who, who we think is gonna win out of these four books. So this is for, as I said, the Breakthrough Author Award. Now, I've read three of them, I'm gonna start, so I'll, talk you through, I'll tell you what four they are, and then we're gonna have a little deep dive on all of them. So here we go, here are the four books. So we've got I'm a Fan by Sheena Patel, Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus, Yellow Face by Rebecca F. Quang, and Chain Gang All Stars by Nana Kwame Adeji Brenya. Um, so yeah, as I said, I've read three of these books. These are the three that I've read. I'm a fan, Lessons in Chemistry and Yellow Face. And I haven't read Chain Gang All Stars, but I'm very, very excited about it. And I recently saw um, Lena mention it in one of her videos as well, so excited. So we're gonna talk our way through all of these just to get a feel for them. So even if you haven't read any of these books, I'm gonna read you the blurb. I'm gonna talk about like, what I think about it if I haven't read it or, or if I have read it and then I'm going to read you the first couple of lines just so you can get a good feel of it. So let's start with um, I'm a Fan by Sheena Patel. Um, this was also uh, long listed for the Women's Prize for Fiction. Um, so it, it's an unusual book and I it's a sort of like, well, I'll read you the blurb first then we'll talk about it. So it says the unnamed narrator of I'm a Fan is in a seemingly unique, unequal relationship with the man I want to be with. She is also addicted to cyber stalking the man's other lover, an online influencer she refers to as the woman I am obsessed with. Written with a clear and unforgiving eye, this exhilarating debut explores obsessive love, race, privilege and power dynamics and heralds Sheena Patel as one of the most exciting and original voices writing fiction today. So yeah, I read this earlier this year because it was on the Women's Prize long list and I absolutely loved it. <laughs> I thought it was really, really great, really unusual. The writing style is, is written um, 
in these sort of short vignettes. Um, so you can see, so sometimes there's just like literally like two lines on the page, sometimes you'll get more and there's no sort of like paragraphs and things like that. And there's almost like a sort of stream of consciousness feel to it, which isn't ordinarily something that I get on with in books, but I really got on with of this. So as we say, it's an unnamed narrator, which is another thing that I really love in books, unnamed narrators. And um, she is in this horrible relationship with another, with a guy who is also in another relationship. And there's a lot of sort of online Instagram stalking and things like that. And um, it reads a bit like Instagram, like you're sort of reading like a really short, for instance, this bit's called Green Light and you'll read like a little bit about this particular thing. And it's almost like you're sort of scrolling, you're scrolling and there's sort of like, intrusive thoughts and our unknown narrator we hear things from her that um you wouldn't say aloud like to, to to people you know or even sort of like friends and things like that but yeah i really really loved it it felt really relevant it felt a bit grotty when i was reading it as well which i really liked we read this for um my patreon book club as well it was really divisive um but this has remained one of my favorite books of the year and i think will stay with me for a really long time but let us read the first the only thing is is that um sometimes it's a bit rude so let's see if the first few lines have got any rudeness in but so we're starting and the first chapter is called do i i stalk a woman on the internet who is sleeping with the same man as i am Sometimes when I'm too quick to look at her stories, I block her temporarily, so she doesn't know I absentmindedly refresh her page 15 times a minute while Netflix plays in the background on my laptop, my stomach flipping sick with delight when her profile picture is ringed red. She has tens of thousands of followers, is verified, and is the daughter of some, someone famous in America. There we go. That's an idea of how that goes. So yeah, very much enjoyed reading this a lot. Uh, the next one is Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. I bought this for three people for Christmas last year. <laughs> so much did I enjoy it. Um, and it's just been made into a Apple TV film. Um, I think it might be out this month actually. I'll read you the blurb and then we'll have a little chat about it. So it says, Chemist Elizabeth Zott is not your average woman. In fact, Elizabeth Zott would be the first to point out there is no such thing. But it's the early 1960s and our all-male team at Hastings Research Institute take a very unscientific view of equality. Forced to resign, she reluctantly signs up and uh, on as the host of a cooking show supper at six but her revolutionary approach to cooking fueled by scientific and rational commentary grabs the attention of a na nation and soon a legion of overlooked housewives find themselves daring to change the status quo one molecule at a time so yeah i also really love this i found this so readable and i know a lot of people have read it for their book clubs which i think is a great pick for a book club read um very very lots to talk about and very sort of um the people, it, like the characters you can really get attached to, as I did with Elizabeth and her dog, 6.30, um, who I really, really loved. Um, you're following Elizabeth's life, and as I said, it's set in the 1960s, and um, there's a sort of big, she's in an all-male team, and there's this big sexism thing going on, but a lot of it is seen today as well, so that was the, the contrast of it, that this is set in the 60s, and oh my goodness, can you believe these things are happening, but these things are still happening today. And I just loved her. I thought she was a really, really... Um, warm character without being sort of like cutesy and warm like i really loved her relationships and her friendships and i loved her brain and her mind and she's a scientist as well as someone who's interested in food and stuff like that i really really enjoyed it um and i love the plot of it as well something really shocking happened in this that i wasn't expecting to happen at all i had to go back and be like am i right that that actually just happened so yeah very plotty but sort of plotty with characters that i can really get involved in as well and then just like i said really really readable great book club choice if you're looking for a book to read at book club so you can completely see why this has been shortlisted the first few lines are chapter one november 1961 Back in 1961, when women wore shirtwaist dresses and joined garden clubs and drove legions of children around in seatbeltless cars without giving it a second thought, back before anyone knew there'd be a, even be a 60s movement, much less one that its participants would spend the next 60 years chronicling, back when the big wars were over and the secret wars had just begun and people were starting to think fresh and believe everything was possible, the 30-year-old mother of Madeline Zott rose before dawn every morning and felt certain of just one thing, her life was over. Despite that certainty, she made her way to the lab to pack her daughter's lunch. Fuel for learning, Elizabeth Zott wrote on one small slip of paper before tucking it into her daughter's lunchbox. There we go. The warmth of Elizabeth Zott, as I told you. Um, and then next up is Yellow Face by Rebecca F. Quang. Again, one of my favourite books of the year. Really, really enjoyed it. I'll read you the blurb of this one. So it says, Athena Liu is a literary darling and June Hayward is a literary nobly. 
literally nobody white lies when athena dies in a freak accident june steals her unpublished manuscript and publishes it as her own under the ambiguous name juniper song dark humor but as evidence threatens june's stolen success she discovers exactly how far she will go to keep what she thinks she deserves deadly consequences what happens next is entirely everyone else's thought fault so yeah, so this is following, it's a sort of literary thriller and I love the sort of like background setting of publishing and sort of like the, the stuff that can happen there that I hadn't even really thought about. There's loads of stuff in here about um, plagiarism and about cultural appropriation, all packaged up in this like completely page turnery readable book um, that I just couldn't stop reading. And I found it really compelling and um, very creepy in some, in some points. At some points I thought it was gonna be a bit sort of ghosty and unusual, like there was bits of it which really creeped me out. It made me feel sort of like a bit like, a 90s sort of like horror film there's a scene in here towards the end where it's sort of like dark late at night and they're meeting outside this big building and they're the only people there and oh god and what's going to happen and things like that but yeah really really great great book um very much enjoyed it and like i said one of my faves of this year but let us read the first few lines one the night i watched athena Liu die we're celebrating her tv deal with netflix off the bat, for the story to make sense, you should know two things about Athena. First, she has everything. A multi-book deal straight out of college at a major publishing house, an MFA from one writing workshop everyone's heard of, a resume of prestigious artist residencies and a history of awards nominations longer than my grocery list. At 27, she's published three novels, one for each successively bigger hit. There we go. And then the last book, which I haven't read before, so we're gonna have to sort of get to grips with it ourselves. This is Chain Gang All Stars by Nana Kwame Adeji Brenya. It says, welcome to Chain Gang All Stars, the popular and highly controversial program inside America's prison system. In packed arenas watched by millions of live stream viewers, prisoners compete as gladiators for the ultimate prize, their freedom. Fan favorites, Loetta Thurwa and Hamara Hurricane Stack Stacker are teammates and lovers. Thur War is nearing the end of her time on the circuit, free in just a few matches, a fact she carries as heavily as her lethal hammer. As she prepares for her final encounters, as protesters gather at the gates, and as the programme's corporate owners stack the odds against her, will the price be simply too high? Wow. <laughs> so that sounds very, very interesting. Sort of reality TV mixed with like the inequalities and injustices of the American um, prison system. It sounds really, really intense, but it sounds like it's gonna be great. So let's read the first few lines and see how we think. I also seen that it's a lot, it's full of lots of short chapters. Oh, and it opens with a Kendrick Lamar um, uh, quote as well. So here we go. The freeing of Melancholia Bishop. She felt their eyes, all those executioners. Welcome, lucky lady, said Mickey Wright, the premier announcer for Chain Gang All Stars, the crown jewel in the criminal action penal entertainment program. Why don't you tell us your name? His high boots were planted in the turf of the battleground, which was long and green, stroked with cocaine white hash marks like a divergent football field. There we go. So there we go. Those are the four books that have been nominated for the Breakthrough Author um, Award uh, in, within the Books of My Bag Awards. I think that's a great, I mean, like I said, I've read three of them and I think they're great. And this one sounds amazing as well. So if you would like to enter the giveaway um, to uh, win the Books of My Bag bag for this year, beautiful, then just simply let me know down below what book you think should win or what book you think sounds best. Um, and as I said, I will link everything down below for you guys to go and have a vote down there uh, for the books that you think should win. And then don't forget to visit your uh, local independent bookshop this weekend on Saturday the 14th of October for uh, Bookshop Day. And can't wait to find out who the winner of all the awards are. Cannot wait. I'll see you all soon. I'm excited about reading this. I might start it now.